Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jahan, in case you're new. In this particular reading, we're gonna be taking a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Um, so it's gonna be a short reading, but the good news is I have like literally 10 options. So feel free to pick as many options as you would like. Um, if you feel drawn to one particular option, do that. But if you feel drawn to more, feel free to pick up to like six or seven or even eight if you want. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump right in. So this is going to be option number one, option two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and option 10. So pick an option and I hope you guys enjoy your reading. Oh, and remember, they're not going to resonate with everybody as well. Okay, so if you're drawn to this option, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay, so you have seduction, persuasion, allurement, attraction, charm, flirt, eye candy, sex appeal, temptation, and come on to. So I'm picking up how people used to view you in the past is maybe, gosh, I don't want to sound mean, but like this isn't coming from me. People felt like maybe you weren't as attractive as you like back then as you are now. Even if you were attractive, yeah, you were maybe you were pretty or you were beautiful. It was given like girl next door kind of energy. But now you're like sexy, like you're seductive. It's like people view you right now as a persuasion and allurement. People find you to be very attractive and charming. They want to flirt with you. You may find that people from your past flirt with you a lot now. People view you as eye candy. They feel like you have sex, sex appeal. You're a temptation. And you may feel like or you may realize that people tend to come on to you a lot. But in the past, they didn't feel this way about you. In the past, you know, yeah, like I said, you could have been attractive or beautiful or pretty. But it wasn't like giving sexy, seductive vibes. You know what I mean? But like now you're to them, you they feel like you're sexy as fuck, like you're an allurement, you're an you're a temptation even. For this pile or this option, you may even um realize that people who are married or already in a relationship or connection may try to come on to you. So just be careful of that so you don't get your heart broken. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up if you were drawn to this option. At first, people used to think you were good looking or whatever. But you didn't quite have much of a sex appeal, but now you're just really sexy as fuck is how they view you. So I don't know, maybe if you dress a little bit sexier or maybe some of you guys I'm hearing, like maybe you could have had a, a, an extreme change within your physical appearance. Maybe you updated your wardrobe to be more sexier. Some of you guys, maybe you lost a ton of weight. Some of you guys, maybe when you dress up, you show more skin regardless of your weight. Some of you guys, I'm maybe hearing you toned up. So maybe at first you were kind of out of shape, but you toned up. Even if you're still, you know, on the bigger side or voluptuous or plus size, something about you now just looks a bit more put together and snatched. And like people just find that to be very, very sexy. Like I'm literally hearing sexy as fuck. So this is how that people view you then versus now. I'm hearing men and women alike too, <laughs> which is funny. They find you to be a seduction. I just heard temptress. Some of you guys, oh my God, I'm hearing BDSM. They would want you to like be a dom or even be a sub. I don't know how that goes, but yeah, something like that. So yeah, if you're John's option number one, this is what I'm picking up for you. I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next one. Okay, so if you're drawn to this option, option number two, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Ooh. So this is kind of similar to option number one. Back then, people used to find you attractive, but they didn't feel like you had much of a sex appeal. Maybe something about you came off as very modest. Maybe you didn't show a lot of skin. Maybe you could have even dressed in a very conservative way. But now, now they see you as someone who's sexy, someone who's hot. They find you to be attractive, beautiful, pretty, good looking, irresistible, gorgeous, striking and tempting even. So you tempt people who have no business looking at you even. Some of you guys, I don't know if you notice it, but when you're out and about, there could be a couple walking past you and then like 
one of the, you know, the man or the woman just stares at you when they're not supposed to. Also, I'm picking up like something about your, you have like, people feel like they like your body specifically. Like some of you guys, you may have a tiny waist or something about your nails. Some of them, they like your, your skin or your complexion. Maybe some of you guys, you have like a caramel complexion or you could be like a dark brown or, you know, maybe you're tan. People seem to like this about you. Some people feel like you have perky boobs, which they really, really like. This is so random. People like your navel, your belly button, your stomach area. So if like when you go to the beach or pool and you have on a swimsuit, people like that area on you. Yeah, people feel like you're irresistible. People feel like you're very sexy, you're very hot. Whereas in the past, yeah, they could have felt like you were attractive, but not like sexy hot. You know what I mean? They felt like you were cute or you were pretty. But now they feel like you're just sexy, you're hot. You're very good looking. You're, you have striking features is how people view you. All right. So like I said, it's going to be quick. This is what I'm picking up for you. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay. So if you were drawn to option number three, which is the red diamond, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay. So back then, um, people used to feel like you weren't much of a go-getter. You were kind of an underachiever. People felt like or viewed you as someone who would stay in situations that made you unhappy, specifically like dead end jobs that made that made you unhappy. Some people even felt like you were broke. You didn't have a lot of money. But now how they view is you've stepped into the strong and independent boss energy. So for some of you guys, maybe you could be business owners or you work a nine to five and have a side hustle on the side. Or maybe you have a really good nine to five job right now that makes you a lot of money or good money. People feel like you're not your babe. So you're on some no BS, no fake shit. And you're like, you're a block button user. You're not afraid to block people if need be. You're not afraid to remove toxic situations or people out of your life. People view you as someone who now doesn't stick in situations longer than you have to. If something or someone is not making you happy, you're going to leave and find something better for you. You don't settle. And I'm picking up people really, really appreciate you or they look up or admire you because of this, especially the people that have known you for years and years and years and they have seen your growth. I'm hearing they look up to you and they respect you. They feel like you're a boss because of this. It's almost like you change your attitude. All right. So I told you it was going to be short. This is what I'm picking up for you. I hope you enjoy it. See you in the next one. All right, option number four. If you are drawn to this option, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay, so much like some of the other options, at first, people used to view you as, you know, just plain Jane, normal, whatever. But now, with this sexy, they view you as someone who's very, very sexy. They feel like you're provocative, you're sensual, you're desirable, you're sultry, you're shapely, you're voluptuous. I'm hearing like you always had it in you kind of energy but maybe back then you weren't really over overly concerned with your looks but now you put more time and energy into your looks maybe you you start to work out maybe you know you dress better or you wear makeup or get your hair done i'm just picking up now something about you maybe your physical appearance even changed to where you look like now you look sexy people feel like especially like the people um, who used to know you in the past from years ago, they feel like, wow, you're sexy. I'm hearing even when you go out, whether you realize it or not, you may get a lot of stares, a lot of hit turns. Also, with this option, I'm hearing you have a nice ass. People really, really like your butt and your hips and your thighs for this option. Some of you guys, you have like a really, really nice butt like or a big butt. Or even if it's not super big, it's like really round and perky. Like something about your ass and thighs. People really, really, I'm hearing appreciate. They like your thighs. Also, randomly, I'm hearing like if you have a darker skin tone, people really, really like this. Something about your complexion. You could be tan or have darker skin. People really, really like this. They feel like it's exotic. Also, your hair. People like the color of your hair, especially if you're the kind of person that likes to wear like red hair, dye your hair red or wear red wigs. 
unconventional color wigs, blue wigs, shit like that. People find that to be sexy or they want to see you in that. <laughs> I'm hearing with nothing on. They want to see you with like some crazy color wig with nothing on. Butt ass naked with some crazy ass color wig. This is some some people's fantasy when it comes to you. <laughs> wow. So yeah, that's what I'm picking up for you if you're drawn to this option. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. See you in the next one. <laughs> Okay, so if you were drawn to this option, um, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay, so at first, people used to view you, especially the people that have known you for, for years and years and years. They used to see you as someone who was shy and timid, not a, not a very high self-esteem. Maybe you were insecure about your body or the way you looked. You used to like to kind of hermit or stay to yourself. Because you're always concerned about what people would say or think about you. But now they view you as someone who just doesn't give a fuck. You don't, they view you as someone who doesn't care what people will say or think about you. You do you. People feel like you fill yourself with this filling yourself. They feel like you have high esteem now. You have self-respect. You're self-assured. Some people even may view you as someone with a large or big ego. But nonetheless, they feel like you're someone who's very confident with the love of self. You love yourself. You look like you put a lot of time and energy into your self-care routine. People view you as someone who's sure of themselves with this sure of oneself. People feel like you're your own uh, cheerleader. If nobody's, you don't really look at anybody to give you validation. You hype yourself up. People feel like you're self-reliant as well. You know, if you have friends, if you have people who want to support you, that's fine. But if you don't, that's fine, too, is how they view you. People feel as though you're bold and beautiful and they like this about you. So they like, you know, that you're self-assured. They like that you're confident. Even if you don't feel this way about yourself, this is how people view you. They feel like you have a lot of self-respect and a high esteem. And I'm even hearing some people put you on a pedestal because of this. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't matter how you look. As long as you have confidence, people will gravitate towards you regardless. People will admire you for your self-confidence, right? Your self-respect. But, yeah, people also feel like you're beautiful. You're, people feel like you're very, very beautiful. Some of you guys could have curly hair, and they like your hair. Long, curly, or wavy hair, luscious hair. Something about your hair people find to be very attractive. People are also attracted to your body. People like how you carry yourself, how you take care of yourself. I'm also hearing some of you guys, you have slanted eyes or almond eyes or something about your eyes. Maybe some of you guys, you like to wear cat eye makeup, eyeliner. People find this to be very attractive. People like your lips as well. People also like your bottom half, like your hips and your butt. People feel it's very attractive. But yeah, for the most part, people feel like, you know, you're bold and beautiful. All right, so this is what I'm picking up for you guys. If you were drawn to this option, I'm going to move on to the next uh, selection or the next pile. I believe this is number six. So if you were drawn to this option, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. We have POV, point of view, outlook, viewpoint, vantage point, perspective. People feel like you have a different way of thinking and understanding. You have a higher perspective view from above so they like your perspective they feel like you're different and your mentality the way you view the world the way you think people view you as someone who gives really good advice a great listener it's almost i'm picking up like you know they'll be like oh maybe we should ask option six for advice you know option six always has really good advice option six always has a different perspective it's almost like i don't know if you realize it or not but people may come granted if this is your message people may come to you and ask you for your opinion on things i'm also hearing you're a great judge of character this is how people view you people view you as someone who can see through their bullshit it's almost like the bullshit in me can see the bullshit in you type shit you're a very great judge of character is how people view you. Also, some of you guys, people really, really like your features, specifically your face. They like your lips, your eyes. Some of you guys, maybe you like to wear your hair in a puff or in a bun. You could have curly or wavy hair. They really, really like however it is that you wear your hair. Some of you guys, you like to wear winged eyeliner. People like that as well. They find that very attractive. You carry yourself in a very, like, very classy, very poised, very... I'm even hearing angelic. Yep, 
yeah also people view you as someone who's very understanding as well and they like this about you people view you as someone who's very mature as well i may even hearing people view you as someone who holds their own as well Yeah, I just feel as though people really appreciate your perspective. People feel like if you were to write your own book or come up with your own, like, maybe videos of something on a specific topic, other people would, would appreciate it. But, like, mainly also, this is what I'm picking up. If you were to write your own book or even make your own YouTube videos or have your own vlog, just voicing your opinion on certain things or situations, I'm picking up people would gravitate towards you and what you do. Because people have um, an appreciation or they respect your opinion and your perspective. You have a different perspective on life. The way you understand things is different. I'm also hearing when you explain things, people feel like you've explained things in a way that they understand. And I'm hearing like in the past, people didn't always see you this way. Maybe you weren't always like this. Maybe some of you guys, you were quiet and maybe you just started kind of expressing or voicing your opinion in the past maybe they could have seen you as someone who was an introverted someone who didn't talk much someone who didn't express themselves as much you kind of just kept to yourself whereas now they just appreciate your perspective and your point of view it's almost like it's, it comes as a surprise to some people like oh my god i didn't know so and so um you know talk like felt this way or I didn't I've never even heard so-and-so's voice some of you guys maybe you're, you used to be really really quiet or at least they viewed you this way maybe some of you guys you never really maybe you just went along with, with what everybody else f believed just to keep the peace but now you know maybe in the past you didn't really express a different opinion because maybe you were scared that you would ruffle feathers or offend or upset people. But now it's like you don't care. You express your opinion, whether people agree with it or not. I'm even hearing unpopular opinion. You're also very honest. When people come to you for advice or come to you about something, you don't sugarcoat it. You give them, you give it to them how they need to hear it or something. Straight no chaser and they appreciate how blunt you are for some of you guys. But yeah, that's what I'm picking up for you if you're drawn to this option. I'm going to move on. Hey. Okay, so if you're drawn to this option, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus how they view you now. Psychic. Wow. So at first, people felt like you weren't very intuitive. You could have stayed in situations far past their expiration date. You could have dealt with people who weren't good for you. People felt like at first you didn't use your intuition. You were always in the middle of some drama. Like basically you just gave your time and energy to people and things you weren't supposed to. Because you weren't seeing, you weren't paying attention to the red flags and the signs. But now they view you as someone who's very intuitive, almost psychic even. Some of you could be psychics. Maybe you could be tarot readers. Psychics, intuitives, empaths. Now they feel like you use your intuition for your to better yourself. You also use your intuition to protect yourself. If you sense danger, if you feel like someone or something is sketchy, you keep your distance. And I'm hearing they're proud of you because I'm picking up some of them, especially the people that, know, that have known you for years and years for a long time. Maybe at first, like I said, they felt like you used to put up with people or things that were toxic. But now you don't do that. You protect your energy, you enforce boundaries, and they're, they're very proud of you. Yeah, some people feel like you have a, a very third eye, like your third eye is open. A lot of people view you as like somebody, I'm hearing, I'm hearing hippie dippy, <laughs> like you're like a hippie. You're into tarot and metaphysics and astrology. They view you as someone who's into crystals and you like to sage and meditate, like you're into all the woo-woo. This is how they, they would describe it. You're into the all, all the woo-woo stuff. But yeah, they feel like you have a very strong intuition. Some of them may even view you as someone who gains insights through dreams and visions. You hear you have clear sight. Maybe you do. Maybe some of them, maybe you could have read for some of these people and it's been accurate. Yeah, a lot of you guys, you could be a tarot reader. People view you as someone who's very spiritual, someone who's into spirituality. 
Whereas at first you weren't into this kind of stuff and now you are. All right. So this is what I'm picking up for you if you're drawn to this option. Like I said, these are going to be short messages. I'm going to move on. All right. So if you're drawn to this yellow diamond, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay. So then at first people used to view you as someone who was like more of an extrovert, loud, very talkative, put always putting yourself out there. But now how they view you is maybe you've pulled back. Some of you guys, I'm specifically picking up people you went to school with. So old classmates, even old friends, whether you went to school with them or not, old people from your neighborhood, some family members feel like you've kind of taken a step back a little bit. You're not, you're not as out there as you used to be. Now you're a bit more reserved, a little bit more timid or shy. You're all about me, myself, and I energy. Some of you guys, you used to be shy is the antithesis of that. But like now you're more out there. You're more of an extrovert. But for some of you guys, you used to be more out there. But now you're a little bit more reserved. People feel as though, you know, in the past, you could have been a, a little bit more codependent, possibly on friends. You constantly needed somebody to be around you. But now you're OK with being by yourself. You're more independent. You're reserved. You're more withdrawn. You're in this hermit energy. You're a loner. You're a loner. You like your space, you're solitary, you're a wallflower, you're a homebody as well. You like to stay at home. Where at first they used to view you as someone who used to always like to go out, always be on the town. Every time they check your social media or talk to you, you're out somewhere with somebody. But now you kind of just like to stay home or just be by yourself more so. People also feel like you glue up. And not that necessarily they used to look at you like you look bad in the past. No, but I'm just picking up. You look better than you used to look. Some some of you, your hair could have grown out. I'm also picking up on this like Afro energy with her, with her hair. Her outfit is really cute. You wear really cute outfits, people feel like. I'm hearing like you elevated your style. People view you as someone who's a, who's, who has elevated their style. I'm hearing people view you as someone who dresses very age appropriate. It's almost I'm hearing people view as someone whose style grew with them. You know how some people, they get older and they still be wearing shit, shit from Fashion Nova and crop tops and like not, not, not that there's anything wrong with Fashion Nova, but I'm just, the point I'm trying to make is like, you know, some people, they get older and they still dress like they're in high school, but no, for you, you've grown, like your style has evolved as, as you've matured and they find this to be very attractive. You've evolved. Your style has also evolved. Yeah, people view you mainly as someone who has great style. Like, these people would literally pay you to style them. Or they want to come to you for fashion advice. Or ask you, where did you get this? Where did you get that? People, I'm just mainly picking up people who just really, really like your style now versus in the past. But yeah, this is what I'm picking up if you're down to this option. I'm going to move on. Okay, so if you're drawn to this green diamond, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Okay, at first, people used to just think you were childish. <laughs> I mean, it makes probably makes sense because you're probably just younger. You were immature. People used to view you as someone who was immature. But now, they feel like you've just really grown. You've grown into your talents. Also, people didn't... People... At first, used to view you as someone who didn't realize how talented or gifted they truly were. People feel like you're gifted, you're very smart, but you just never really, or even you could even be talented, but you just never really tapped into your creative, your creative um, talents. I'm always, I'm picking up like people feel like they always viewed you higher or better than you viewed yourself. But I'm I'm picking up, honestly, they feel like you've grown. She has on glasses, so metaphorically, to me, that could represent perspective. It's almost like your perspective has changed, but also with this naturally dope, people have honestly always felt like you were a naturally dope person, whether you realize it or not. So they've always seen how dope you were, but they felt like you just never realized how dope you actually were. 
So honestly, I'm picking up then versus now. They they feel like you were someone who was born with some sort of gift, talent, or skill. They feel like you're smart, like above average, averagely smart. You're artistic. You're creative person. You're gifted. You're skillful. A lot of them think or feel like you have a high IQ. People feel like you're talented. You're a genius, and you have natural ability. And a lot of them are now feeling like, okay, now you're starting to realize this, where they've always known this about you. You just never really knew this or felt this way about yourself. Very humble energy. And I'm picking up, they want you to tap into your creative talents more. They want you to see yourself in a higher light than you do. And for some of them, they're starting to see that you're starting to see it. Maybe you are. If you're not, they want you to. I hope that makes sense. It's almost like people view you to be very amazing, but you just never viewed yourself that way. But some of you, I'm picking up with this the gla with the glasses, to me represents perspective. You're starting to see it yourself that hey, you're you are talented, you're skillful, you're gifted, you're a genius, you have natural ability. Your talents come naturally. You don't have to force. And honestly, people now feel like you are a star. You're destined to be a star, or if not already, one day you're going to be someone very popular, famous because of your creative talents, your skill, and your intelligence. People view you as someone who will be very, uh, very successful. All right, so that's what I'm picking up for you if you were born, uh, born if you were drawn to this natural, uh, this green diamond, which is naturally dope. Yeah, so just so you know, this is confirmation. You are naturally dope. You are someone who was born with some sort of gift, talent, and skill. You're very smart. You're artistic. You have a very high IQ. You're talented. You're a genius. You have natural ability. You're very creative. You're gifted. You need to tap into that. And you need to start to see yourself how others see you, which is amazing. You're, you're amazing. Okay? Granted, if this is for you, because it won't resonate with everyone. All right. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Last but not least, let's take a look at how people used to view you then versus now. Aww. Okay, so at first, you know, people felt like you were a bit dramatic in the past. Maybe you, you hung around or stuck in situations that weren't good for you. In the past, people could have felt like you were a bit low, vi low vibrational. You were judgmental, gossipy, drama-filled, immature. But now people view you as, a, as this high vibe person. They feel as though you've grown into this high vibrational, mature person. 777, seven, seven. people view you as like if you were to hit a jackpot in a person, it would be you. They feel like you're someone who's lovable now. You're trustworthy. You're no drama. You're creative. You're an empath. You're a little bit, you're more self-aware than you used to. Like in the past, people used to feel like you lack self-awareness. But now you have self-awareness and you're spiritual. So people view you as someone who could have gone through a spiritual awakening. I just randomly heard identity crisis. I'm even hearing some of them feel like in the past you used to run or hang out with people who like were not on your level. They were like, you know, not that anybody's better than anybody, but I just feel as though, you know, you are better than a lot of these. I'm hearing low lives you used to hang out with. But now, like, you don't, you, you, you know, you, either you'll stay by yourself, but, like, mo mostly you also, like, how do I say this? You hang out with people who are just as high vibrational as you. And if you can't find anybody on your frequency, you'll just opt to hang out by yourself. No company is better than any company type of shit. So, yeah, people now view you as a high vibe person. They feel as though you've evolved, you've grown, you've grown up, especially the people that have known you for years and years and years also people like your hairs for this option some of you guys may you may have your hair locked or you like to get your hair braided you like jewelry people feel like feel like you're adorable people think you're very very cute I'm hearing people you, People have always thought you were cute. Like, I'm picking up, like, adorable, cute vibes on this one. But, like, you were just a little annoying. Like, low vibrational. I'm not even going to lie. But now you're not like that anymore. You're more of a high vibe person. You've changed. You've done the shadow work. You've done, you know, um, you've done the reflection that you needed to do. 
I'm even hearing messy. People, <laughs> oh my God, people used to think you were messy, but now you're not. Yeah, I'm just picking up. Now you're just, you're just, you just come off as someone who's really lovable. Someone that people would love to be around and hang out with. They've seen your evolution. They've seen your growth. And yeah, they admire you. They love your creativity as well. You come off to people as someone who's very, very artsy. So yeah, people view you now as a high vibe person. What more can I say? I'll leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> it was fun. Um, infinite abundance as always. You'll see me in your next one. Bye.